So here we are on the Dow Jones Industrial Average as at June 6, 2015. We find ourselves oscillating back and forth between resistance and also support. You can see this is the daily time frame of the Dow Jones Industrial Average where we closed at on Friday has essentially left us in no man's land. We're right smack bang in between once again that support and resistance area. Resistance being in red and of course support being in green. When I change to the S&P 500, have a look at this similar type of picture which is setting up right between that red resistance box which we've been paying very close attention to for the past three months and also the support box right here. We're right smack bang in the middle of both the support and resistance area. In other words, we are very, very neutral at least forward looking into the trading week beginning the 8th of June 2015. You can break down markets technically speaking various ways depending of course on your time frame whether you are a day trader, a swing trader or a long term investor. Oftentimes when we get to these periods in the market, people overanalyze it and they jump to conclusions all too easily. What I like to do at this particular moment in time, however, is to sit back and try and look at the bigger picture, look at other markets to really indicate what may be around the corner for the broader US equity markets. As I do that and as I perform this analysis, the chart which is really jumping out at me is the Dow Jones Transportation Average. There's been a lot of discussion, a lot of analysis as to the most recent breakdown in this particular market. This may be a forward-looking market, at least for the bigger US equities. What I mean by that is oftentimes when we find ourselves in some form of a distribution, whether you want to call this consolidation, a channel, it doesn't matter. You've still got your typical resistance areas. You also have your typical support areas. And what's happened over the past two or three weeks is that we've actually broken down below this most recent support area. With great conviction, we have rallied back up to the critical pivot point. Now, what this is really telling me at the moment is that what is or what will the Dow Jones Transportation Average do? This is really going to give us a better answer to the questions on the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and also on the NASDAQ. How the Dow Jones Transportation Average acts at this critical pivot point, this very critical area of support now turned resistance is really going to give us a very good explanation or at least anticipation of what it has in store for the broader US equity markets. If we rally back up to and we're very close to this box and we start to see candlesticks indicating a reversal, i.e. the Dow Jones transportation average will well and truly lead the equity markets lower. If this, however, if we look back at this and this is a failed breakout to the downside and we get back within this channel and we start establishing once again, more so a rally or a snapback rally up to resistance, you can almost guarantee that the equity markets themselves are also going to follow through and we will see at least some short-term conviction to the upside in the overall structure of the market themselves. This has been a forward-looking indicator. It has been a forward-looking I guess, indication of what the Dow Jones industrial average will do. But I cannot stress, however, the importance of this red box on my screen. This is the critical area on the Dow Jones transportation average. When it comes to Dow theory, these markets should be working in agreement. They are not. The transportation are leading the, the uh, industrials at the moment. And if we see the rejection at this level, this very critical level, this macro resistance level now, which was once support, you can almost guarantee that when we have a look and check back on these equity markets in a month or maybe even two months time, they will be trading much lower. I feel as though, and it looks as though, the key to the markets themselves are heavily weighed upon what the transports do over the coming weeks worth of trading. Outside of that, in regards to the market update, I've just recorded Pro, that's a really exceptional class online. One of the major points in regards to housekeeping is the removal of Facebook. And also GoPro from our top 13, now the top 12 individual trade list. What we've done is we've replaced it with ticker symbol WBA, Walgreens, Boots and Alliance. And we've also kept the additional spot open from removing two and obviously including one more. Sort of like a wild card trade where I'll go through analysis, you know, during the week and over the weekend. And when there's a really stellar trade set up, that will slot into the list, into the list temporarily. And we can manage and, and get into that trade when it presents itself based on, of course, the analysis and, and just how great of a trade setup that stock may be. Just because Facebook and GoPro has been removed from the list as at this weekend doesn't mean, of course, that we won't have exceptional trades on Facebook and GoPro in the future. They may well and truly slip, slip back into this list, even if it is only for a week or two moving forward. So I just wanted to update you on the structure of the pro analysis list. We do have a great selection of stocks. We've got Apple, Amazon, Boeing Airlines, Baidu, Caterpillar, Chevron, we have Google, Goldman Sachs, IBM, Netflix, Tesla, and now the new edition WBA. And in that analysis class, just over the weekend, 
we went through and we actually charted this stock, support and resistance, trend lines. We spoke about chart patterns and candlesticks and we've got a really compelling short-term trade set up on Walgreens as its introductory trade to our top 12 individual trade list. Outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, traders right around the world, please be very selective in the trades which you start or at least are willing to enter into at this particular moment in time. Again, we are absolutely in no man's land. You have to be very neutral on the overall market. Yes, we did expect a down week, which has just occurred. I think the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down just over 160 points on the weekly. I will bring the weekly chart up. And it was 161.2 uh, points, the net downside movement this week. Is this the beginning of a major move? We will, only time will tell. But right now, I mean, again, you can break down this analysis depending on your personal outlook, but we are in no man's land. We're very neutral. And as such, the key, pay very close attention to this market. The Dow Jones transportation average or the index itself is going to be a very good indication of what to expect on the broader US equity markets. Outside of that, have a look at that analysis workshop class. Have a fantastic weekend, but please promise me one thing. You will be selective in the trades which you are looking forward into the week beginning the 8th of June 2015. Moments in time where you need to really refrain from market action until the market gives us clearer signals. That is going to happen. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you when the markets will shake loose or break down out of this range-bound market which we've been in. The longer we wait, the sooner it is until that eventuates. So until then, enjoy your weekend. If not, have some form of a little hiatus even possibly from the market, which may be nice. And um, I'll keep you updated, obviously, monitoring what the market moves do on this YouTube channel as the week progresses. All the best friends and traders right around the world. It's James signing out on behalf of Pivot Point Trading. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you next week. All the best. Goodbye.